Hello everybody, um, this is your guy Jacques Angel on Perspective Matters. Um, welcome back. Um, and welcome back to myself because it's been a while since we had any activity on this, on this vlog. So today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting um, issue that has been going on for quite a while. Um, as some of you know already, um, I'm originally from Cameroon, um, Central Africa. Um, some might consider it as West Africa, but the point is I'm from Cameroon. And so um, for those of you who know the political history of, of Cameroon, you would know that Cameroon has um, sort of a weird kind of political dynamics in the sense that we have a president that has been in power for so many years, 38 years for, to, be, to be specific. And um, a lot of Cameroonians have been asking themselves questions about whether he is the guy to move the country forward or is it a time for a change so essentially this video will be um focused on a press conference or more like a public address that was given by the opposition leader majority leader maurice camto um in france um specifically in paris on the first of february february of this month um that was a huge statement by the opposition leader so this video really would be sort of i won't go into the details of that speech i'll just be um sharing my thoughts on how i felt that um statement was and how it could sort of move the country forward um so before anything else again i would like to apologize for the lack of activity on this channel so so anyways, to put a little bit of context, so elections, presidential elections were conducted in Cameroon on October of 2018. And during those elections, the current president, Paul Bier, was um, was pronounced as the vic as the victorious um, by the Electoral Com Commission, um, ELECAM of Cameroon. So that came with a lot of hostility and 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 an ambiguity in, this, in the likes of in the ranks of Cameroonians because they felt that those um, results were not legitimate. Um, Opposition leader Maurice Camto, prior to the results of election being re um, released, um, allegedly claimed that he was um, voted um, by the Cameroonians as the president. So ever since then, there's been a lot of um, hostility in the in the ranks of a lot of Cameroonians. Basically, Cameroon is essentially divided into um, ranks. Um, but I'm going to focus on Maurice Camto because apparently he's the standout candidate um, that has proven that he's um, able and capable to really stand to challenge the current regime. Um, so he was arrested um, um, last year um, for peacefully protesting um, against the current regime. He constantly um, voiced his um, opinions about being the right candidate that was elected by the Cameroonian people. Um, but after he was released, he kept um, pushing for um, Cameroonians to stand up for what was rightfully there. So um, on February 1st, um, which was um, last week, Maurice Camto and his, um, so he's the president of the Mouvement de la Renaissance du Cameroon, a political party that he runs. Um, so he and his followers were in Paris at the Place de la République. Um, and then he brought together a lot of Cameroonians and that was pretty impressive actually. Um, so it raised a lot of questions in the ranks of how Cameroonians sort of see um, the political history of, of Cameroon going and, and how the support for Maurice Camto is really becoming more apparent. And, and so what where do I stand on this? I, I think, to be honest, I, I feel Maurice Camto is the person because for the only reason that he's a Cameroonian who has sort of understood the, he's been in the current regime, he's, he's been the minister, a minister in, in, in the current regime. He stepped down because he realized that Cameroon wasn't advancing and stepping down from the current regimes um, and, and actually thinking about how he could move Cameroon forward was a strong statement as well. So I think the, 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 the trust in which Cameroonians are, 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 are interested in him sort of shows that they really believe he could be the person to move Cameroon forward. And in, and in his address in, in Paris to, um, last week, he, he basically thanked the, the Cameroonian of the, of the diaspora, Cameroonian um, that, that, that live in Europe and in America and everywhere else. He was basically thanking them for the support during the 2018 elections and also telling them that um, they should not give up, that it's, it's time that we should all you know, put our hands together and to continue to fight and believe that there's a change that's going to come. Um, so that was really, really amazing. I also think there's a sort of a geopolitical implication of the selection of France and specifically in Paris um, for this public address because France, as we know, has a political history um, with Cameroon being a colonizer. Um, so I think Maurice Camte is very strategic in terms of picking France for 
for this speech. He could have picked a lot of locations, like Germany, Switzerland. We have a huge um, Cameroonian representation across Europe. Um, but he picked France for a reason. So he thinks, um, he, he actually said it in his speech that the reason for choosing France was that he believes that France supports this whole idea of equality and, and, and that he hopes that it's not just for the sake of just um, accepting to host him for this um, statement, but also he hopes that France would take a huge step in terms of promoting that equality that they're talking about. Um, so yeah, so I think um, Maurice Camto seems very, very um, driven and a lot of Cameroonians are buying into his um, political strategy and vision for Cameroon. And on my, in my, from my perspective, I think, and this is where the whole perspective matters, opinion um, thing comes in. I think, but from my, from my understanding, I think Maurice Camto, again, like I said, he has a vision, right? He, he, he has the support of Cameroonians, but also he's been in a current, um, he's worked in a current regime and it's not worked for him. And so he knows having been it, been there and seen it and done it, he feels it's time for Cameroon to shift in the way we think and do things. So honestly and personally, I would support Maurice Camto, given that he's very pragmatic in what he says. He's very tactful and he's very, very efficient in, in, in his political plan. I've, I haven't had the chance to actually sit down and read his political um, um, sort of economic and strategic plans for how he plans to move Cameroon forward. Um, when I do get a chance to do that, I'll actually come back and give a more succinct and critical opinion on how I see this candidate moving forward. But I, I just feel like this is a huge statement and then moving forward, Cameroon could be at a huge, um, um, I don't know, I'm just, you know, thinking here and I'm like, I'm like yeah, there's, there's something happening there. So um, anyways, I know my sort of this video was all over the place, but I really want to leave you guys with well, one key thing, you know. There's a huge um, wind of change happening in Cameroon right now. And Maurice Camto is really driving that change. So if you're a Cameroonian, if you're not a Cameroonian, I just, you know, I urge you to check on Google what's happening in Cameroon and just, you know, go go down in the comment sections and, and just tell me what you think about this whole um, presidential issue going on and this dichotomy, dichotomy between President Maurice Camto and the current regime being really... Um, um, pressed to to give up the, the power that I've, that I've been holding for 38 years. So yeah, guys, I'm going to keep this running. So thank you for watching this video. And um, if you're interested, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And I know we always, um, we always try to make sure every opinion is heard. So please post a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think we could do um, in the future. And I'll, be, I'll probably be taking down the streets sometime soon. Um, it's very windy here in New Hampshire right now. And, and it's the winter. So um yeah, so anyways, I'm going to keep this going. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and keep the conversation going. Bye.